We have custom elements on the web, but the platform also has attributes that exist on multiple elements, or even all elements, such as inert, such as popover. So as well as custom elements, should we have custom attributes? This was an idea discussed at TPAC recently, and if it's something you're interested in, let us know in the replies. The idea is you define an attribute, and then register it. Now you get connected, disconnected, and change callbacks, like all very similar to web components. This could also serve as a solution to extending built-in elements, like rather than needing to be able to create a custom element that's like a subclass of a form element, you could just do this, where the my special form attribute is a custom attribute which enhances this instance of the form. Where this proposal gets tricky is when the attribute needs an API. Like even simple attributes like inert and popover, they have equivalent APIs. Like popovers have even more APIs like methods. So how should this work with custom attributes? Like it could patch the element instance or even the element class with these new methods. Like this is all possible with JavaScript, but it's generally seen as bad practice to mess with classes and instances that you don't own. But maybe there's a route to make it okay in this case. Also, did you know that it's actually possible to take an attribute node off one element and put it on another? Like, it's the same attribute instance, but it's moved from one element to another, like similar to moving elements around in the DOM. Like, it's not something developers worry about today, but if you're creating your own attribute classes and instances, would something like this catch people out? Anyway, this is a super early proposal, but one that we're actively investigating and interested in developing if it's something folks want. So, is it something you want? Like, what would you do with a feature like this? Let us know in the replies.